guys, I have closed my 400k US dollar long position in the approximately 0.33 Bitcoin 10,000 US dollar deficit. Today, I'm going to be sharing why I closed my long position and I'm going to be sharing what I'm expecting for Bitcoin and I'm going to be sharing which price zones Bitcoin must be holding in order for it to be continuing to the upwards. So make sure you watch this video to the end, subscribe and let's jump into the video. So as I just said, I have closed my long position over here at the exact bottom over here. As you can see over here, the price is at the 36k, 6769 dollar area. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is a terrible position close to be honest and you're able to see that after I close my position even you know I mean appreciated to almost a almost a break even so yeah not cool not cool at all to be honest but I mean yeah I closed my long position because I I couldn't you know I couldn't bear with this you know big kind of loss because I had a 0.5 Bitcoin profit over here but yeah as you can see over here I mean yeah I'm still in a profit over here so I mean, yeah, in order for you to be, you know, able to be profitable, you need to be cutting your losses despite, you know, being, you know, kind of, you know, kind of anxious. But I mean, yeah, my emotions, I mean, my emotions are quite, you know, sad over here. I'm, but yeah, I mean, if you know what I mean. So Bitcoin broke above the 37.8k level. I should have taken my profits over here. There were signs that something was odd given that the daily candlestick wick was up was broken above over here so I should have taken my profits profits but I was too greedy and yeah we broke below and you're able to see that Bitcoin retested resistance over here again yet again over here as well he re -res revisited resistance over here so yeah I mean this was the point where I should have taken my profits over here you're able to see that Bitcoin was holding support at these regions he was holding support for a while and it broke below and I took my, you know, I mean, yeah, I took my position off over here. that so this was a very bad trade, to be honest. And the reason why I took out of my trade is because we broke below the support zone. So I was like, okay, we broke below the support zone. I was watching. However, Bitcoin bounced off this low over here. So, yeah, I mean, this was kind of hard to be honest. And right now we're testing these zones over here yet again. So, yeah, I should have taken my profits over here. Once we're already broken below this area. So this was my biggest mistake. So that is the reason why I had to bear with this kind of loss over here. I've also closed this Ethereum long position over here. Which is in a deficit for some reason. I don't know why it's in a deficit over here. I entered at 1996 and the average exit is at 2015. But yeah, I mean, it's, in, it's just in a slight deficit. But yeah, this loss over here is a little bit too big in my opinion. So yeah, this is this was a very very bad trade, but yeah, I'm going to be sharing what I'm expecting over here. So if you are able to hold on to your position, I think that it could be a good idea for you to be holding on to your position still. But I think that we're going to be you know, I mean yeah, this candlestick wick is pretty good. We bounced off the twenty daily, twenty daily moving average over here. So we are still forming this you know structure over here. So if Bitcoin is able to hold support at the thirty six point nine. It means that we could we could still be seeing you know upwards movement over here, and we're also confirming, we're also forming this ascending triangle over here at the same time. So yeah, we are still consolidating over here. But what I thought was that yeah, I wanted to you know this entry point wasn't good. I had to bear with this you know insane you know nuke to the downside, and I didn't like the wick over here. So we could be bouncing off over here, but I just wanted to be safe. And I think that we could be consolidating here for a, for a while. And the reason why is because I'm looking at the weekly Bollinger Bands over here. The weekly Bollinger Bands are have, you know, started to pinch over here. And before we see a next impulse move, the Bollinger Bands tend to, you know, make a correction. Meaning that once they have an expansion, they tend to, you know, make a correction until the next big move. So that is the reason why I think that we could be seeing some sort of consolidation movements before we have the next move upside so that is the reason why i've taken my profits i mean i've closed my position over here on bitcoin so i should have hold, held it on i should have held on, held on over here but yeah i was a little bit i got a little bit scared over here so i've taken my profits and it ended up you know from it ended up me taking my position off at the exact low over here so yeah this 
wasn't a good trade at all but yeah i mean nobody's perfect and i just had to share i mean i just wanted to be honest to you guys that you know there are times that i win and there are times that i lose so yeah this is my you know this was my trade over here that i made that i made so that is the strategy i have for bitcoin bitcoin must be holding this support zone in order for it to you know to you know make a continuation upwards otherwise bitcoin will be testing the 35.6 level we are going to be looking at the 35.6 or we could be looking at the 35k area however i did not think that we're going to be testing these levels at the 33.3 but there is a possibility and i do not think that we're going to be testing the 30k level over here but yeah i mean there, as a possibility we must be thinking about you know all of the possibilities so bitcoin i've covered bitcoin let's look at ethereum over here so ethereum also was making a you know nuke to the downside i mean pretty which was a pretty severe nuke to the downside but we are bouncing off over here and yeah i've closed my position at 2015 so yeah this wasn't a good trade at all over here as well and yeah right now we're bouncing off the support zone at approximately 1990 but yeah ethereum must be holding this support zone at the 1900 dollar area in order for it to make a continuation and the daily bollinger bands are about to make about to expand over here so yeah we still have room until the next move to the upside so yeah i think that we're going to be consolidating and it all depends on the bitcoin guys you all, you guys all know that you know i mean all the of the cryptocurrencies are correlated to bitcoin and if, if bitcoin is not able to hold these lows over here we're going to be you know probably seeing all of the altcoins making a crash so yeah just be prepared guys and we're also seeing this you know bearish divergence on a daily time frame over here as well so yeah i wouldn't be surprised for surprise you know to be testing these for bitcoin to be testing these levels over here at the 35.5 so yeah that is one thing i want you guys to be keeping keeping note of lastly let's look at tencent over here tencent has finally been listed on bitgit exchange so if you don't know what a tencent is about is it i i've cut up i i've covered about tencent yesterday so if you haven't watched my video from yesterday so make sure you watch that watch that video from yesterday over here but yeah i mean tencent is finally listed on bitgit exchange over here so if you can so yeah you can now on trade tencent on bitgit exchange so yeah make sure you sign up from over here because you're gonna 30 percent discount on all trades if you sign up from this url from this link over here so yeah tencent is right now still consolidating at the point five dollar area nothing really has changed over here we're still moving sideways over here 0.5 dollar area is just consolidating over here until we see the next impulse move to the upside so i think that we're going to be consolidating here until bitcoin makes a new big move yeah so that is what we are having over here let's look at cardano cardano is an altcoin i'm watching cardano seem to be like you know breaking out over here we confirm a daily candlestick but it does look like this is a fake out this could have been a fake out move which is you know, quite bearish but as i said it really all depends on bitcoin guys if bitcoin is able to make a new high all of these altcoins will be you know catching up to bitcoin but yeah i mean it does not look good to be honest at the current moment it must be holding this support at the 0.3 dollar area 0.35 dollar area in order for it to make a further continuation upwards let's look at polkadot over here polkadot does not look good as well i mean we are holding this support zone from this you know falling wedge over here if we're able to hold the falling wedge we're going to be seeing the next target zone which i'm watching at the point seven dollar at the seven dollar area so yeah part, i mean yeah polkadot is also i'm watching i'm also watching for polkadot and for ethereum we're going to be coming back to ethereum but yeah the daily time frame does not look good but the weekly time frame does look really bullish over here we are holding multiple candlesticks over here at these levels so i wouldn't be surprised for ethereum to make a continuation upwards but as i said you know it all depends on bitcoin bitcoin is you know overly bought on the weekly time frame and i just did not like how we saw that you know how we saw this wick over here so yeah i wouldn't be surprised for it to make a further continuation downwards but yeah be careful in terms of longing i want to be targeting for longs at much more lower prices for example at the 35.8 but yeah we are making a continuous higher lows so the 36.5 is also an area you want to be watching for longs i'll be putting in longs over here at the 36.5 as well so this is my long update i closed my long position 
make sure you follow me on Twitter because I'll be sharing these kind of information more in, on Twitter. And Bybit, if you haven't signed up on Bybit, make sure you sign up on Bybit. And I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.